short mini trip in Jasper. This video I'll talk about tips while traveling to Jasper as well as recommend some places to visit. So please subscribe to my channel. There was four of us that went, my auntie, my mom, and her friend. Uh, yes, it's mandatory to bring your mask to Jasper because of social distancing. There's me on the left and our driver was Brenda. She was such a good driver. So you even see the sign going to the mountains. It says practice physical distancing. So this was one of the stopovers. It's called Bow Lake and the view is really nice. It's probably three hours away from Calgary. Roads to Jasper was really, well, some parts were foggy and some, some parts were not. It was um, so beautiful to see the fog up in the mountains. It's quite nice to see some, some nice waterfalls, very refreshing. When you're traveling or anywhere in the mountains, it's really important to bring your own baon um, or snacks because it will save you a lot of money. And this Lala loved the sky, the sky flakes that we brought. We did see a lot of people on the road and they're taking photos and asking us to take their photos. But I'm not sure if that's really um, practicing social distancing. What do you think? When you're traveling to Jasper, make sure that you book your hotels ahead of time. Maybe uh, a year ahead of time. Because it's expensive up there for hotels. It's about 300 per night. And because we booked um, a year ahead of time, we got a really good deal. When you're traveling to Jasper, also Fill up your gas in Calgary because it's expensive up in the uh, mountains and all the touristy area. When we went, um, some of the lakes were still closed because of COVID and some of them are still under renovations. So this is what the roads to Jasper looks like. It's, it's really nice. Look at that. Oh, here's the Parker Lake now, going up. Yeah, that's oh. Parker. Maybe they had to do this too for, for like a switchback. Parker Lake. The trail for Parker Lake um, looked really nice and it was a beautiful trail and I think it was about uh, an hour or two hours hike so it was a short hike but we didn't end up going because it was um, pouring. Yes the ladies were all dressed up ready to go and all of a sudden the rain came. There we are, We were they were all excited but uh, too bad Mr. Rain came pouring down. We ended up going to the uh, ice field building instead to see if we can get in earlier. And that's what the parking lot looks like. It's really empty out there, not a lot of visitors. Yes, this is the uh, ice field center up in um, Jasper. So uh, you have to wear a mask because it's mandatory that you wear a mask when you go to the building and before you go on this trip. Uh, usually there's a lot of bus that are parked up here, but because of COVID, there's not a lot of uh, tourism going on. So a lot of the parking lots were still empty. Um, that's the glacier up there from the distance. You have to take the bus up there. 
and that is the uh, building where you get this is the entrance of the building and there's somebody waiting there for you inside so we'll check it out and that's the lady at the entrance she's waiting for you um, she scans your forehead or your forearm making sure you don't have high temperature and that you're wearing a mask so it cost about $75 to get into the ice field and I think that includes also the skywalk. Um, this is the bus that we rode. Uh, they did practice some social distancing. You had to sit every other row. After the bus, you had to ride in one of these vehicles and they're a $1.6 million vehicle. They have big wheels and they take you up into the ice fields because regular bus won't be able to take you there just because it's so high up and there's so much ice. So this is what it looks like inside one of those giant vehicles. Um, we go up and down the hills to get to the ice field. Really nice view. So once you get off in one of those huge vehicles, uh, they allow you to walk around for 15 minutes and it's just a giant ice field and everybody is just walking around and uh, it was quite magnificent to see it was a little bit cold up there so if you decide to come visit make sure that you dress up really well It's a small skywalk um, compared to the, the one in Grand Canyon. Uh, this one definitely has a better view of the mountains. Quite, quite nice. Skywalk. Not practicing social distancing. Oh, you did a very good job. Small good job. Like, you knew what We did some hiking along the way, and one of the places that we hiked was Beauty Creek and Stanley Falls. It was a nice hike, about maybe one to two hours hike, and you can see a beautiful view of the falls, Stanley Falls, as well as the creek. So it was it was really lovely. So this is Stanley Falls. It's about 30 kilometers away from Jasper. It's on the right side of the road. Um, we ran into it by accident. Um, we were early at the ice field, so we decided to just uh, find a place to hike. So um, there's waterfalls along the ridge and we were just really taking photos, photos of the view. to bring snacks um, along the trail just in case you get hungry one of my favorites was ding dong and this is like 59 cents at Walmart so really good deal this is the place that we stayed at in Jasper it's a small house with a nice garden walking distance to to the town um, cute small house this is the town of Jasper it's a small town um, not densely populated. They have their churns and they have their small shops and stores for the tourists. That's one of the bigger houses that we saw. Uh, this type of house is probably a million dollars.
Here's their cute church. Uh, this is kind of their downtown area and there's some hotels and restaurants around there and you can buy pretty much um, everything in Jasper. You can never really own a land here in Jasper because it's a national park. A lot of people that own houses here, they just lease their land. One of the places that we visited in Jasper was Pyramid Lake. It's about five to 10 minutes drive. It is close to the town of Jasper. One good thing about uh, Jasper is all the hiking places are nearby as well as the lakes. So this is Pyramid Lake. It's known to be called a mirror lake because you can see a reflection of the mountains in the water just like a mirror. Uh, the best time to go is first thing in the morning like probably 9 to 10 a.m. You had to go over the bridge to get a better view of the lake so we were just checking out the map and the history of the place. There's a lot of mosquitoes so remember to bring some bug spray, bug spray because it's close to a lake and that's the bridge that I'm talking about. There's Ate Grace ready to take a jump shot of the camera. She wasn't sure when to jump. Jump! I really like this wooden structure created by nature naturally. This is Pyramid Lake Resort. The cost to stay in this resort is about $350 per night. They did have some paddle boards and boats available that you can ride in. We really enjoyed Pyramid Lake and we ended up going there twice just because it's close to our place. It's worth a visit. We headed out to Lake Malign next. It's about 43 minutes from the town of Jasper. This is Malign Lake and some of the mountains were at least 6,000 meters elevation. You had to take one of these boats to get to the other side of the lake. Before you get in the boat, you have to get scanned and you were asked a few COVID related questions, whether you were exposed to COVID or did you have COVID or do you have any symptoms of a flu. It was mandatory to wear a mask before you get into the boat. This is the boat ride going to Spear Island and there's still social distancing because you get to sit on every other seat. And that's the view of the mountains from the distance. It's a pretty big lake. I think bigger than uh, Lake Louise for sure. That island is called Spear Island. Those mountains are called the Thrones of the Gods because the tour guide said that if the gods were ever to land on earth, they would have a throne or a seat in each of those mountains. This is where the boat docks on the other side of the lakes and you have about 10 to 15 minutes to walk around, take some photos, look at the view, and then the boat honks, and that means that you had to head back. There's the boat in the water. Yes. Let's pretend it's our boat. Yeah. 
You can see the view of the thick glaciers up in the mountains on the way back. The cost for this boat ride is about $80. Make sure you find some good deals online before going to Jasper. After the lake tour, we saw some caribous on the road. Be careful with some animals on the road because they just jump in front of you. We almost hit an animal. We headed out hiking to the Valley of the Five Lakes after the uh, Lake Malai tour. This hike is about 8 kilometer hike. Depends on where you go, it could be further. It's located 30 minutes away from Jasper. At first we got lost and then we had to turn around and go the other way. There is a shortcut that you can take to this lake. We landed first on the fifth lake. This is the fourth lake. Then to the second and the third lakes. It was really serene, very quiet, very refreshing. The view was amazing. And this one is the first lake. I would say it's the biggest, but it's also the shallowest. This was about a five kilometer hike. Bring a lot of mosquito repellent because there's a lot of mosquitoes as well as be careful with the trails because it's uh, really wet and muddy. It's worth the view to look at these lakes and to do the hike. We even saw a rainbow at the very end of our hike, which is definitely a blessing from God. The next day, we headed out to Athabasca Falls as well as Sunwapta Falls. This falls is about 40 minutes away from Jasper. You can usually see a sign before coming into Jasper. There's no hiking trail around here, just a walk. You can walk around and look at the different views and different angles of the falls by going on the other side and there's a bridge that will take you to the other side. You can go down to the lower canyon to look at this view. This is the uh, lower end of the falls. There are some cool mini plants along the rocks. Athabasca Falls is another great place to visit in Jasper. We headed out to some Wapta Falls, which is about 10 minutes drive away from Athabasca Falls, heading north. It's a smaller waterfall, but there's uh, I think about three levels. There's a short hiking trail along the ridge. You can see tall, beautiful trees while the hike. The trails are muddy, so try to go on the side of the road. This is about a five kilometer uh, mini hike along the ridge. Nice flowers along the trails. Another place they recommended visiting was Horseshoe Lake. It is the deepest turquoise lake in Alberta. We didn't get a chance to go here, but perhaps our next visits. I heard that you can go swimming around this lake because it's clean and it's deep. On the way home in Canmore, you can visit Quattro Bistro. They serve various Asian cuisine. It's locally owned by Filipinos. Their food is delicious and really tasty.
We have this sizzling ginger beef, which was really good. This one is the Ati Ati Han chicken. It's a nice stopover before heading home. Jasper is one of the most beautiful places in Canada. If you plan to visit there, plan ahead of time. And if you do like my video, please subscribe to my channel.